Hello my bits Toyka and I know a lot of you have an interest in the 1.8.2 update so I've decided to do a video on it giving you the latest information that's come out of the last few days so it's literally the latest most up to date information this is from the official source this is the correct information I'm just saying because uh, the comment section of the last video seemed to be like no he's lying uh, it comes out on August the 29th look how well that went but um, anyway let's let's jump into positivity and uh, just quickly in the background we have a uh, Minecraft PC gameplay it's just me Farming, farming pumpkins, then maybe going mining for a bit. Uh, shows a few of the new PC features, so it would be nice to have in the background. But anyway, let's jump in right right into this. So uh, first of all, we're still working on 1.8.2. A few things left to add. Also, all the uh, information comes from their Twitter, where they tell all their news. It's official, it's legit, don't worry. It seems a bit strange using Twitter as an official news source, but, you know, that's what it is today. But anyway, yeah, let's continue. Uh, we're still working on 1.8.2. A few things left to add. More work on creative mode interface and a lot of tests. Then lots of tests, sorry. Still weeks away. Um, so, you know, it basically... He's basically saying... Well, they're basically saying uh, we're still weeks and weeks away. That means, realistically, not coming out in September. Uh, maybe very late September, but I think, realistically, we're talking October sort of time. Um, and they also little, they hint a little they hint a little here about the uh, creative mode being uh, the problem with it. But let's uh, let's show you the next Twitter uh, thing I have here. Uh, these aren't in I don't think these are actually in order, so I'm just going to go through them one by one. Uh, next one, can you? Uh, here's someone asking them, can you load your existing world into creative mode? Um, and then then the uh, 4J Studio says yes, but achievements and leaderboard updates will be disabled for that world. Uh, they've confirmed they've uh, sort of quelled my little fears earlier. Well, I had about creative mode. Uh, so now there's less incentivation to use creative mode on survival world, but there's still whatever. But basically, yeah, they've they've confirmed that not, you can't use creative mode just to cheat your way through achievements and leaderboards. So that's good. Uh, so yeah. Um, that's really good. Uh, but next, next, uh, little, next new uh, Twitter thing. Why put XP in the 1.8 but not add enchanting? Uh, this is speaking about. Uh, they said that they wouldn't add enchanting. Uh, but yes, e yes, XP does not make sense about the enchanting table. Add the 1.9.1.9 1 pre free. That is pre release free if you're not familiar. So we remove XP and XP bar from 1.8.2. Um, that confirmed basically that enchanting isn't actually going to be in this version. And because unlike PC version where they put XP in anyway, so you could just collect it. For no reason, um, they're just not putting XP in at the moment. So you actually, uh, when 1.8 comes out, we actually won't have an XP bar for quite some time. Uh, well, not quite some time. I think, yeah, probably quite some time. So uh, if XP is your favourite part of 1.8, sorry to this point. But if it's not, then uh, that's good because you don't need to care. Um, so yeah, that's that's always brilliant. Um, honestly, I think enchanting is it's not really that good anyway. It's just like, yay, my thing does slightly more. Uh, you need a lot of bookcase. Oh, it's it's somewhat good when you get a really good bookcase, but the default enchant table is like, oh yeah, I can mine 25% faster. Woo. Um, not really that big a deal, so don't worry about it too much. Um, next next little Twitter Twitter information. Will there be mine shafts in villages in the 1.8.2? Uh, yes, villages, strongholds, abandoned mine shafts, and ravines. Um, if you're wondering what those are, I'm going to quickly go through them one by one. Villages, NPC villages. Uh, people thought they'd been in the game since the start. They actually haven't. They're uh, only coming into the game now. Strongholds. Um, strongholds are the end of the game dungeon. Um, they basically, which is basically confirmed, they are adding the end in 1.8. Uh, or at least they're going to add the strongholds, which take you there. Um, if, and if you're wondering, uh, you to get to a strong, what, what a stronghold will do is it will take you to the end of the game. Uh, which what, what, there's a place in a stronghold where you can put 12 ender eyes, I think it is, and they'll take you to the end of the game, um, which is the this third realm. It's the equivalent of the. Uh, What's it called? Uh, place between heaven and hell. Um, purgatory. Uh, it's basically purgatory. There's a dragon you have to kill. It's it's a pretty cool um pretty cool little scene. Um, and then you have to uh, basically uh, yeah you kill the dragon because you have to do loads and loads. It's actually a pretty good Minecraft boss because you have to do some mine mining. You have to use ladders. It's great. Well you can you can use blocks, but I've the person I saw do it use ladders. It's it's really cool basically. I've gone the really long way around saying that. Uh, it's pretty cool how you finish the game. Um, so that's what the strongholds confirm. Abandoned mine shafts. Um, they're basically like just really rare. Well, they're like equivalent of um mob spawners in terms of what you find in the chest but there's slightly different things like you get melon seeds from the chest you get diamonds uh, but in exchange there's uh, poisonous cave spiders which are actually in my opinion the worst mob in the game because um, well let's just say if you've watched my PC let's play series then you'll uh, know why um, and ravines ravines are just like massive uh, like tears in the ground 
Uh, they're not really that big a deal, but they allow you to go up and down if you find them, uh, like, really easily. Like, if you're digging um, downwards, they're handy. If you're digging upwards, they're handy. And it's just, like, another... It's, ma it's to make the uh, randomly generated cave system a little more interesting. So, yeah. So, let's move on to the fifth and final little tweet thing. This one's not really as relevant as the other ones. Uh, but can we cl turn clouds off? Yes, in 1.8.2. So, if you have been annoyed by the fact that there's, like, eight layers that you can't actually see in if you build anything there because clouds go through them you can turn clouds off in 1.8.2 so that's brilliant um, so basically to summarize the video I'm going to pop the first one up again um, they'll be tweeting about they've tweeted a tiny bit more than this by what it's basically summarizing these five tweets uh, we're still working on 1.8.2 still working on many weeks to go and they're basically saying creative from what I've seen from their Twitter creative is the main problem for this uh, so like yeah, just, just so you know what they're working on. Uh, it's not coming out till October. If you think you have... If you heard someone say they've, you know, found a leak that's coming out earlier. If if this says any earlier than, like, September 20th or, like, 25th. Realistically, no, they're lying. Don't believe them. I, I had this big problem in my last video. So I want to wanna inform you guys now it's not coming out till realistically October. So, uh, yeah, that's that's that. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and it informed you. If you did, you can check out my previous video on 1.8.2 where I read out the massive patch notes list. Uh, that was fun and enjoyable. Um, or you can check out my Xbox Let's Play, um, Minecraft Xbox Let's Play, sorry. Um, it's like 92 parts now, so if you're into that sort of long Let's Play stuff, uh, I'll leave a link to that in the description. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hopefully educated you on stuff or things or maybe just, you know, confirmed what you're already thinking or something. You know, vaguely along those lines. But regardless, um, if you enjoyed the video, you can like it or let me know with a comment. Um, subscribe to see the Daily Learning homepage or, you know, my Let's Play stuff. And thanks for watching and goodbye.